The ideas behind Evermind is really about creating energy close to the use point. No complex part, we don't need advanced glass fiber build or carbon fiber or anything like that. It overcomes a lot of the weaknesses of other distributed wind solutions, which is that A, it can be made large, so you can sweep a, a pretty large area of wind, and having no external moving parts has this advantage that you can have it resting right on a roof and have people up there doing maintenance around it safely. In the right locations with good wind resources, um, this is definitely an untapped market where you could be generating wind you know, on your building where you need it. And because we only use the edge of the building, um, it is completely complementary to solar PV. So if it also happens to have good solar resources, then the complement of the two is really great. As your solar falls off in the afternoon, you can maintain your power production into the evening hours with the winds. So they're a, sort of a natural complement. It's also easy to transport. It comes apart very easy. It's easy to install. It's potentially deployable to remote locations, both as recovery or as a full-time use implementation. And I think the partnership we've had here India National Laboratories at Texas State University and myself has really been a fantastic uh, combination that really has been able us to move the technology forward and get into this level where we can now do a prototype test. It's locations where they often already pay a high price. It's hard to get, it's often dirty, right? So shipping diesel from somewhere very far away just to burn hydrocarbons. And that's something that is kind of modular and can be brought into those environments, um, I think is really valuable. So it kind of solves all of the major problems of distributed wind.